This video app review is brought to you by the iPhone app review.com. What's up, everybody? This is Blue Patrick with the iPhone app review.com. Today, we are slinging out yet another video review, this time taking a look at an application called School Notes that is on my springboard right there, ready to go. This application is available for $2.99 in the App Store, which is a tremendous value for what it is that you're actually going to be obtaining. And if you are curious, this application is designed for uh, college students, high school students, probably more college students. Um, or really, I guess you could use it in a business setting as well, but mostly towards students is uh, the, the demographic that this application is aimed at. And for very good reason. So here we have the main sort of menu from which all things stem, and I've just kind of created this fake student profile called Steve. Um, but the, the basic principle that goes on here is essentially uh, you're going to be taking notes in class, but at the same time, you're also going to be doing a load of other things too, um, in addition to just taking simple notes. So uh, here in the video review, we have the chance to actually show you um, a few more of the items uh, that we got to discuss in the written review. So that's kind of the point behind this more in-depth review, but uh, here's the basics. So let's go ahead and go, uh, yeah, obviously let's just start with the notes. So I have a basic timestamp that says when this was, um, and if I want to, I can simply put it in a simple objective. So let's say uh, test for subject. If you want to put an objective, uh, you know, learn whatever, you could do that too. Um, and then from here, uh, basically things expand. You can do a note screen, um, which is a very basic sort of notes. Of course, you can type in whatever that you want, um, add another objective statement, add some notes. Uh, so learn to read good, learning to read good. Uh, questions, you can go in here and then type in, uh, do I read good? Um, for now, I'm just going to type test so you can kind of see this. Um, and then I have questions, so uh, I guess actually the best way to put this is in a question form. Um, so if you have any specific questions that go along with the notes that you're taking, you can add them, etc., um, etc. Et when you're done, simply hit save. Save to entry, you're now good. From here, you can do a few other things. You can do a note board, which is exactly what it looks like if you wanted to draw um, any sort of uh, anything really in here. You've got all the same sort of uh, penultimate, I guess, style functionality that we would expect. You've got line drawing, uh, text, erasing, um, obviously drawing with your thumb or finger or whatever, um, and exporting as well. All of that is included. If you want to record audio, you're welcome to do that too, which is actually one of the uh, best features of the app, in our opinion, because you can go in and uh, simply record whatever it is that the professor is saying and then go back and listen to it later so we like that quite a bit so it's stop cancel um, from there you can do a video as well same thing upload video in pics if you would like you can do that um, from your photo gallery and of course when you're all done simply hit save all entries you are now good to go which is actually quite nice from here uh, you've got a few other things that you can do you can enter a quick reminder if you would like to say um, well, basically anything. Um, of course, you can go in and uh, view your notes via this tab. Um, you can add a reminder for an exam, for a date, for whatever, anything that you might uh, want a reminder for. You've also got a calendar which you can view to view, uh, of course, all of your upcoming events um, tied directly to your calendar. So all of that is great. You can, of course, add new events as well. And um, on, on a different note, you can actually create flashcards, which is absolutely amazing. We love this feature quite a bit because it allows us to uh, take those questions from earlier, say, or anything else that you're studying, um, and then very quickly make flashcards that you can actually study with. So for instance, if I've just created this sort of fake uh, flashcard, um, let's go back and hit view flashcards, then you've now got a flashcard. So if you have a test um, question, you can type in the answer. Um, of course, all of that is here. I'm not typing in, excuse me, but, um, that is, you know, just a, it's a brilliant way to study to begin with, and the fact that it's included is very, very handy alongside everything else that's going on. And as if that weren't enough, you've also got math charts, science charts, and periodic tables, just references to use um, in class or with your studying, whatever, um, et cetera, et cetera. Just uh, essentially to give a final wrap-up on this, it's a uh, just a mountain of features that are tied to this, the, the central premise, which is taking notes and learning. Obviously, the application makes it extremely easy to do basically anything that you would want to do in class, which is the real boon behind the app. In terms of interface, uh, our only real complaint with the application does uh, revolve around the interface in the sense that it's not the most beautiful studying application that we've ever seen. If we had to give a specific suggestion, 
we would say to focus less on the interface and more on the actual content because when we use something like Dropbox or Evernote, the, uh, the basic idea there is that we're focused more on our content rather than the interface, which uh, we do think the interface kind of tends to hog things here. Um, but aside from that, it's a very functional application, very quick and simple to navigate its various elements. And of course, the price is uh, spot on to at $2.99. So with all of that in mind, what do we give school notes? At the end of the day, we give it a 4 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. We think it's a great new app. And if you're in need of such a thing as a college student, there's no better way to go. So with all that in mind, uh, we're basically done with this video review. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out, but I will see you guys later. Bye.